Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So my first Sephora, my first and second Sephora order came in. The reason I'm condensing it is because my second Sephora order, I only picked up one thing. So there's really no point in doing an entire video for one item. Here we are. I want to start off with the samples because I am very happy with the samples I got. So in my first order, I got an Orbe Gold Lust um, hair mask. And this is enough for uh, my hair for one use. So I've never tried this before. I'm really excited to use it. And then I got a good, good sample of the Olaplex number no. four shampoo and number no. five, the conditioner. So this is a good size where it'll be enough for one use on my hair. Uh, I have had this product, so I really like it. So I like that I got, you know, samples in my second order. I got another one of those. Uh, so I do use my samples. So I'm happy that I got something that I already know that I love and that I can use. And then I got a Necessaire uh, body lotion uh, sample in a 0.3 fluid ounces. There's quite a lot of product in here. I love this stuff and I really am really excited that I was able to get this. The reason why I liked these samples was because I feel like you got a substantial amount, you know? I feel like a lot of the times the samples at Sephora and let me know if you feel the same way, but I feel like sometimes the samples at Sephora are really tiny <laughs> um, and not very good. So anyways, first product I want to talk about is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I ordered this one in Vanilla Beige. Here is the swatch of that. And I ordered it because I'm actually almost done with the color uh, Brown Sugar. And I liked this color, but I felt like it was a little too dark for me. And I'm gonna swatch it for you guys right next to Vanilla Bean. So, one of my um, one of my husband's cousins, his girlfriend, had a Vanilla Bean, and it, she was putting it on at a you know we were out for like a family dinner, and she had pulled hers out. And I'm like, oh, let me can I swatch yours? And I liked the Vanilla Bean better. You can see that brown sugar is much darker in color. And I was like, you know what? At the next Sephora sale, I'm gonna get Vanilla Bean, and uh, this is gonna definitely probably be in my April's empties because I'm literally almost done with this. So I went ahead and I picked up Vanilla Bean. I also have this in the limited edition birthday cake uh, color and if you didn't catch my shorts on that you can go ahead and watch it and then I think what we've all been waiting for I picked up the West Montelier lipstick in the color Rue and that is what I have on my lips right now. I did do a shorts with close-ups of this, so you can go ahead and watch that as well. So the Westman Atelier uh, lipsticks come in this beautiful refillable packaging for those who you who uh, don't already know. And then the cap has a little mirror, which quite literally is only large enough to look at your mouth, which is, I guess, is the purpose anyway. So you get this little mirror and you have the Westman Atelier brand um, embossed in gold with that gold rim. And then these are magnetic so you just pop them out. They have like a honeycomb situation on the bottom. So you do need the vessel in order to even purchase the refills when they come out because you would not be able to twist this up without the case. It is magnetic and then here is the color Rue. It is a neutral chocolate brown and that is exactly what I wanted. Let me swatch this for you guys. It is a very pigmented deep brown as you can see on my lips. It's definitely a statement color. I find that if you apply if you want like a softer looking brown 
what I've done is I pair it with one of the lipsticks. If you apply one of her highlighting lipsticks on the bottom and apply Rue on top, um, then you will get like a softer kind of brown color on the lips. And I also posted some pictures of this on my Instagram as well. Okay, moving right along, I picked up a couple of things from Salt and Stone um, because I have been super curious about this brand. So the first thing I picked up was their deodorant in the Scent Santal and Velvety. No, Vetiver, I'm sorry. Santal and Vetiver. I picked up one item in like each scent. So they've got three scents. They've got Black Rose and Oud, Bergamot and Hinoki, and Santal and Vetiver. So this is the deodorant. The packaging is refillable. So you don't have to buy this vessel every time and you don't have to buy, you can like buy whatever scent you want and just keep the vessel. Uh, this particular scent smells a little masculine to me. I like it and I feel like my husband's gonna really like this as well. So I think this is gonna work for the both of us but like when I close my eyes, this has a very uh, masculine scent and it is kind of like a gel consistency. I'll keep you guys posted on this whether it leaves like a, well, if it works, uh, you know, cause it is, um, it is aluminum free. So we all know the controversy with aluminum free deodorants. <laughs> it's really hard to find the one that's gonna work for you, uh, especially for us uh, stinky gals. And uh, anyways, so I'll keep you guys posted as to whether or not this works out for me. Uh, the next item I picked up from the brand was their body mist. And naturally, I picked up the scent Black Rose and Oud. This comes in a glass uh, bottle. And top notes for this is Black Rose, Lily of the Valley. The heart note is Oud, Mahogany. And, their base, and the base note is um, Vetiver, Santal, and Amber. We, and this is what the bottle looks like. It has a, a pinky lavender juice. I, I haven't even sprayed this and I can smell it through the nozzle. It smells amazing. It smells like a, like a seductive rose kind of scent. I definitely smell the amber in there. It smells really nice. Ooh, I really like this. Now, it is a body mist, so I don't expect this to have too much longevity, but I really like I like really like the way this smells. Hey, uh Salt and Stone, if you ever watch this, can you make like a fragrance out of this like a you know, eau de parfum maybe? No? Okay. This smells really good. If the, those of you who like deep rose scents, I uh, highly recommend you pick this one up. You are, you're going to love it. I mean, oh, it smells so, so good. Okay. Pleasantly surprised with this. I've never tried this brand and the all of the salt and stone products were blind buys for me. So I'm really excited. <laughs> I like them. Okay, and the body wash, which by the way, oh, I didn't even tell you, this is a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle. The, it's 2.6 ounces for the deodorant. And it looks like it's made in the USA. I get very excited when I see products made at home. We don't get a lot of stuff made here, so it, um, anyone else get excited about that? Okay, the body uh, wash is 15.2 fluid ounces or 450 milliliters for those of you who are wondering. And it is a really nice frosted plastic bottle. Kind of reminds me of Necessaire, but much, much bigger with a pump and it is much wider in diameter because obviously you are getting a lot more product in here. I love bergamot personally, so 
oh that smells like a spa quite literally it smells like a bergamot spa okay maria if you're watching this you're gonna love the way this smells pick one up during the sale if you can all right next up we have i picked up the necessaire hair essentials so i like the necessaire uh body wash and their lotion and i've been wanting to try their shampoo but i didn't want to buy the full bottles because i do have quite a few shampoos i need to get through so i thought getting this set would be nice enough where i can figure out whether i like it or not and it also brings their scalp serum so like i get to try three of their hair products uh, so it comes with a 3.4 fluid ounce of their shampoo, conditioner, and one fluid ounce of their scalp serum. So I'm really excited to pick this up. It was $45 as a value set, and then I got 20% on top of that. So I thought it was a really good deal. I'm super intrigued about their new rosemary shampoo that's like for um thinning hair and it like strengthens your hair and the whole thing i don't have thinning hair but i am a sucker for shampoos that smell like rosemary so i don't know if i'm going to be placing a third order because i want to pick up the shampoo and the conditioner i shouldn't i should just wait till the fall sale but here we are so here is the shampoo the conditioner and the scalp serum which comes in a beautiful glass bottle I've never used a scalp serum those of you who've used this please tell me if you like it am I missing out I'm hoping I like their shampoo I mean it's fragrance free so that's just what came with the set uh, I didn't have the option to choose any kind of scent, but if you all have like a particular scent you love from Necessaire, please leave me a comment down below <laughs> so that I can check it out. Last, uh, actually not last, but well, last but not least in my first order, I picked up the Crown uh, Dry Shampoo because I wanted to try something a little bit uh, healthier. The dry shampoo I'm using now is um, from Dry Bar and uh, it's too heavily scented. I get you know it's too heavily scented so i wanted to pick up something a little cleaner and i've heard really good things about this particular uh dry shampoo i have heard that a little bit goes a long way and that if you're not careful it could be messy obviously because it's in a tub but i wanted something that you know didn't have a very strong smell and was just like a little bit healthier <laughs> for my scalp and for myself because i i have oily hair but i have like an oily itchy scalp and i find that since i've been using cleaner products on my um scalp it's less itchy so i may be allergic to like a particular ingredient and I don't know exactly what that is. So that is what prompted me to pick up this dry shampoo. TT Sandra, if you don't follow her here on YouTube, was the one who uh, recommended this and we both have oily skin. So I was like, sure, I'll give it a try. It comes with this uh, fluffy brush and you are to use this. Uh, it's super, super soft, by the way. Um, you are to use this to like rub the product, you know, like, in the hairline and then you have this situation here where you can twist it and the powder comes up and then you can close it it has a locking mechanism where you can twist and dispense your product so obviously this is not something you're going to be traveling with um because who wants powder like you don't want this flying around your luggage you know this is just something you keep on top of your vanity or because it is aesthetically pleasing right you can keep it on top of your vanity or you can put it away in a drawer and you know use it as you need it but yeah would i be traveling with this no but i did want to try it because 
maybe it will help me a little bit with not getting so itchy when my 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 oils really start to protrude especially in the summer season holy smokes my hair just becomes oilier during the summer because you know the sweat florida now i'm going to show you the one product i picked up during the second order and abby bliss white if you do not follow her on youtube highly highly recommend uh she was the one who showed featured this on like her sephora's recommendation video and i had to pick it up it is the commodity discovery set and this is how it comes uh, packaged so i have always been intrigued by the line and i literally smelled a couple of fragrance at uh, sephora because they were actually sold out of the testers the time that i went and i liked quite a few of the fragrances that i smelled so this one's called the commodity exploration kit and it literally brings one of each of the fragrances that uh they offer and inside like first of all like how beautiful is this before i open it i just want to show you the they have like a, a scent space so looks like they have um the the personal line they have the expressive line and they have the bold line and i'm going to featured by these three like little symbols up here so this would be the personal uh, scent space. This would be the expressive. And then this one would be the bold. And you get this booklet. On the inside that will literally talk about each and every one of their fragrances. So it's like in depth. It also smells I'm convinced they sprayed the book okay so on the inside you get these little paper tabbies over here in case you don't want to spray it on your skin and then here you have the personal line and according to the instructions you get on the back of the box this uh, these white bottles here this is a personal collection it's for those who prefer a subtle intimate fragrance to be noticed only by you and a few you, and the few people you allow close to you then you have the expressive line which is this row right here this little column and this one says that this is the expressive collection and is considered uh, by many to be the perfect balance of longevity and projection these fragrances will make a statement without overpowering any space then you have these black bottles that have like the copper lettering and this is considered the bold uh fragrances and here um it states that Troy, they are bold fragrances they are designed for those who intend on making their presence known and they are for you and everyone else so this is probably gonna make a statement in a room when you walk in you know so i am super excited that they had a kit that brought all of their fragrances because i've been wanting to try all their fragrances and i love that it brought the, these little tabbies because what happens if you don't like it then you're stuck with it on your skin you know so i do like that you have that option so thank you so much abby bliss white for featuring this on your channel because i had no idea sephora carried this so this was my item i picked up my second order of course i will be updating you guys once i've tried them all and i've worn them it's gonna take me some time uh to get through them so maybe like in several months we'll come back to this and talk about it but there you go all right that completes my sephora haul i have a third cart that i am debating on whether or not i should pick up uh leave me a comment down below i have the necessaire rosemary shampoo and conditioner i have the lawless foundation i have the summer fridays skin tint and i have the lawless um lip filler plumping gloss in lavender sorbet 
is that something you guys would be interested in me reviewing leave me a comment down below i would love to know all right you guys i thank you so much for watching i appreciate your time and let me know what you picked up during this forest sale see you next time bye